Okay, so the first thing I do is I'm going to weigh my uh, iodate salt in its uh, sample. So that is, can you make a note of that? That is 16.09 grams. I'm going to take that and I'm going to pop it into my beaker. What was it? 16.09. 16.09. I'm now going to weigh my empty sample bottle and that comes to 15.02 grams. Right, I need to dissolve this up and it takes a while. So I'm going to dissolve it in about 150 centimetres cubed of distilled water. So this takes a few minutes, so I'll, I'll get that in. And then I'll give it a quick stir. What are you dissolving? That's in 250. Oh, no, actually it's about, sorry, it's about 150 in there. Right, while that is dissolving, I may need someone to um, stir that. Can you stir that without spilling it? Okay, I'm going to fill up this. So this is the burette. I'm going to fill up the burette with my. Cool. We okay? Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to, now I'm going to assume this has all been cleaned and nice. Normally, of course, we would wash with distilled water and then wash with solution as well. Doing a good job there. So I'm going to just pop this down like so and just fill it up. With my sodium clothes. Steady on there. Okay, now obviously I'm gonna have a air in here, so I'm just gonna let it out a little bit. Okay, slightly awkward. The, um, <laughs> the uh, burette is, um, no. It's actually. <laughs> I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Can you pause me a minute while I go and replace? The, I've now replaced the um, your record when it works. I've run a little bit out, and so I now no longer have an uh, air bubble here. Now I can see I haven't got any. I'm just going to do a little bit more. That's coming up nicely. Okay, uh, maybe I'll just top it up. Okay, so shall we do that reading? That reading is 11 point, ooh, gotta go cross eyed, 8 zero. So if you make, so that's my initial burette reading is 11 point is that eight zero. That's just my initial burette reading. Your tighter is the, the, Final minus the initial. Oh, okay. So I haven't gone to that bit yet. So my burette is ready <coughs> to go. So the next thing I need to do is I need to make up, carry on making up my standard solution. So you get one take three by bottle. Yeah, so I'm going to make it up in a, what's one of these? This is a volumetric flask. This is a conical flask. Okay, okay which I assume you. So I'm going to get this. In here. Okay. So here I go. I, oh, I need to make it up to exactly 250 first of all. So pour that in there. I want to make sure I get it all in there. So a little bit, just wash that through. Just a little bit in there to wash this through as well. Okay, cool. And now let's just top this up. So I'll put the rest of this in. Like so. And then when I near the end, it's better to do it with a little bit of a, um, with a pipette. I'll just do most of this. Well, I'm almost at my line there. So I'll pop this off. Ooh. 
It's going to happen, isn't it? Okay, we're never going to do that. Okay, cool. So I've made that up to the light. That's 250? 250, yeah. Put that out of the way there. Right, I just need to mix it, so a few times. <laughs> okay, just to make sure it is thoroughly. We have no faith. We're taking it down. I feel like anything could go wrong. The end of A2, <laughs> and my students have no faith in what I'm doing. I feel so proud. Okay, right, so, uh, so I now need to get this, because this is Ibe, I need to get it, first of all, I need 25 of that into my old conical glass. So that's when I use my pipette to do that. So here we go. Off of that, like so. Let's hope this, so obviously I would normally wash this out, but it's clean, so we're okay. <laughs> it has been pre-washed, trust me. Okay, so there we go. Up it goes to the line. Yeah, you can do. Sometimes these, some are better than others. Some of the pipettes are a bit nab, so um, it is better to use your, your finger. Okay, so that has run into there. So I've transferred uh, 25 of this solution to my conical glass. Now I'm going to add 10 centimeters cubed of uh, potassium iodide. <laughs> which is this guy here. Um, this doesn't have to be, as long as I've got an excess, that's the most um, important thing. Yeah, with the stuff you're adding now, you yeah. work out how much... It doesn't matter, as long as I've got enough there to react okay. fully, it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter about the 10 centimetres cubed. You, you only scale up, you go from 25 to 250. Yeah. 25 to 10. You don't have to add the, you don't have to make it 45 to 10. No, no, okay. because, that. yeah, that's right, okay. yeah. Did you make it up to two, is that 250? That's 250 in there. And I've taken 25 of that out. Oh, no, right, so I'm going to add the acid. What colour do you reckon it's, yeah, it's going to go rusty. brown. Big, quite rusty brown. <laughs> it's not going to go brown if she wants to think about that. I brown. I think you're thinking of iron hydrops. Yeah. yeah, this is iodine. Yeah. <laughs> it is a different chemical. Right, so that is now iodine there. Quite a, yeah, so I now need to do the titration. So here I go. This is going to get like lighter and lighter yellow. Well, you'll see when I add the old uh, starch. So, here I go, we've made a note of my initial burette reading, so let's start adding my thiosulfate. So hopefully, you can see, maybe, it's getting less brown. I can't stop it up. So that has gone, I don't know if you can see, but that, you can kind of see that's gone like... <laughs> so I want to, I want it to go like a light yellow colour because remember what is the indicator that I'm going to use for this start and I don't want to add it too early because it'll just it'll just all go horribly black solid. I get like a black precipitate and it, which won't disappear. So I want it to um, slowly fade. I'm really concerned about the amount of stuff you have in your own. You're worried about what? How much you've got in your own. I'm alright. So how do you know when it's perfect? Because if you go past it, the starch will still turn black. No, it won't because I won't have any iodine. Because um, yeah. I'm removing, I'm converting all my iodine to iodine ions at the moment. Okay. 
So can you see it's going lighter and lighter? So it gets some very, I want it to go like quite a pale yellow colour, but not colour. Well, it's just going to get lighter and lighter and lighter, which isn't great. So, I'll probably get a little bit lighter. No, it's still quite orangey. Right, so I reckon that's probably all right. Okay, for me to now add my starch, I mean, it's, it's good. the main thing is that I can. So, yeah, well done. Okay, so now that's gone. Quite black. Okay, so I'm going to now add this quite slowly because I don't want to keep doing this, so I'm going to try and get this as accurate as I can. So, what's going to happen? It's going to be colourless. So, we're watching for this to go colourless. So tell me when I'm in your capable hands. <laughs> Could take a while. <laughs> well, otherwise. No, I mean, like, what is this for? Well, I, well, why do I have to well, start? Yeah. I need to work out. I'm going to work. I'm going to use this to work out the molar mass, okay. and from that I can work out what the metal is. Okay. Okay, no, stop, stop, stop. Yes. No, perfect. Okay, so that is 36.70. And that's final, you think? Yeah. <laughs> 